Hello there, I'm Richard Moorcroft. Please hop aboard as we set sail on another Letters and Numbers adventure. But before we do that, let's salute the crew, Lily Cerner and David Astle. <laughs> and bravely travelling with us tonight, our contestants. First up, our carryover champion, the adventure-seeking Colin Turnbull. Hello again, Colin. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, we heard a little last night about your parachuting adventure. Another one that uh, intrigues me that I've uh, heard a little about is the tallest roller coaster in the world. Now, wh where is that and what was it like? Yeah, one of my favourite holiday locations is Las Vegas. And on the top of the Stratosphere Tower, which is over a thousand feet tall, there was a roller coaster on that. Um, so I went on that and there's also a, a ride called a screen where you actually get projected off the side of the building. Well, we hope we can kind of keep the adrenaline level up for you tonight, but uh, I'm sure you'll be very competitive. Welcome back. Thank you. And here to challenge Colin is Bonnie Reno, a social worker with degrees in law and psychology and a master's in criminology. Welcome, Bonnie. Thank you. That is uh, an achievement and a half in terms of a variety of degrees. Uh, what was the motivation and, and where's it taking you? Well, I started out doing psychology and criminology and was doing welfare with people coming out of prison. And I, I really enjoyed that, but I wanted to find something new. So I just recently went back and did law. So I'm hoping to move into criminal law or community work. And criminal law in the sense of being in the courts and arguing the cases? Or, yes. Uh, yeah, so you want to be a very active part of that. I'd love to be an active part of that, yes. I'm sure you'll play a very active part tonight. Good luck. Thank you. So, our carryover champion, Colin Turnbull and challenger, Bonnie Renault. <laughs> we begin, as usual, with the letters game and uh, carryover champion, Colin, please get us going. Uh, can I have a consonant, please? Certainly. Let's start with R. And another one, please. C. And a vowel. U. And another vowel. A. And a consonant. G. Another consonant. N. A vowel. I. A consonant, please. S. And another consonant, please. And last letter, D. First clock of the night. <laughs> For you, Bonnie? Seven. That's a great start for both of you. Let's start with yours, Bonnie. Uh, scaring. And yours, Colin? Scaring also. <laughs> <laughs> if you would just uh, verify that uh, you've both been equally scared after your tales of extreme rides, Colin? No scaring either of them. Uh, obviously, Bonnie with uh, experience in criminal law and Colin with extreme roller coasters, a good start. Um, I found a nine. Oh, that's an even better start. Well done, David. <laughs> At first, I thought it was cardigans, but then I had a second look, and it's crusading. That is a beauty. Nine letters, but seven each for Colin and Bonnie, also a very good start. Let's keep those letters rolling, and uh, Bonnie, your first choice, please. Uh, can I have a consonant, please? Certainly. Let's start with P. And a consonant. D. And a consonant. T. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. A. Another consonant. B. Another vowel. O. And another consonant. F. And a vowel. And lastly, E. And 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs>
How did you go with those first letters, Bonnie? Uh, this time I got a six. Six for you, Colin? Six also. Let's start there, please. Yeah, the bit. And yours, Bonnie? Boated. Happy day. Beautiful. Great words. Uh, I think we're in for a, a really good game tonight. Uh, no one's uh, considering defeat, which is a six, but the seven that I found there is adoptee, A-D-O-P-T-E-E, which is the adopted child. Well found, David. And well found for Colin and Bonnie, who scored six points each. Let's change tack now with the numbers game. Our contestants must use some or all of the selected numbers to get within 10 of our target to score points. And uh, Colin, what would you like? I'll have the adventurer, please. One large and five small. Thanks, Colin. One large and five small. And our numbers. Ten, five, four, eight, six. And the large is 75. The target to reach is 803. Thanks, Lily. Let's head there. Adventurer is almost your signature combination, really. How did you go? Uh, 803. 803, spot on. Very nice. Bonnie? Uh, 803. 803 as well. Well done. <laughs> Colin, you chose, so uh, take us there, please. Um, 75 plus 5 is 80. 75 plus 5 is 80. Uh, 80 multiplied by 10 is 800. By the 10 is 800. Um, 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 6 divided by the 2 is 3. Uh, okay, is 2. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. And add that on. Add that on is 803. Well done. So, very nice work. And spot on the target. Bonnie, did you take the same approach? Uh, it was a bit different. A bit different? So uh, let us know what you did, please. Okay. I did 10 by 75 is 750. 10 by 75 is 750. And then separately, 6 by 8 is 48. 6 by 8 is 48. Plus 750, 798, 798, plus 5, 5 is 803. Great method as well. Two fabulous variations, Lou. Yeah, they were great methods. I used Collins, but they were both great. They both worked extremely well. They both ended up right on target, and they both scored 10 points for Colin and Bonnie, who are sitting absolutely equal on 23 points each as we head for our first break. So your first word mix for the night is clad rain. And the clue, an important bird. Back in a bit. Yeah. 